Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I've been AWOL for a couple of days because I have been uh, working on orders and I just really needed to catch up. So um, I'm up to D for decoupage. So let's put, let's get the thing ready. And um, where is it? I've got to find it. Clock. 30 minutes. I don't know if you can see that there. Oh, you can see my ring light. There you go. That's it there. Um, but I will put it to one side because otherwise it'll annoy you to reflect. But it does make a noise when it goes. Um, and we're doing decoupage. And so I've actually going to, I'm going to, I don't know if that's too watery, but I've got my glue there. I'm going to do the proper decoupaging. Well, I might do a mix of decoupaging. Um, and we'll just see how we go. I haven't pre-prepared anything. Um but um, we'll just see what happens. Okay, so ready, set, go. So I'll put that on its holder over there and let's get cracking. So I've got my napkins. I did pull those out because I needed to get those out and um, let's just see what we want to use. Oh, I probably should have done that before, shouldn't I? Here we go. Drop them all on the floor too. Seriously, these are all the things that happen when you're under the pressure of time. You drop things. I mean, look at the state of that napkin. Oh, stop getting sidetracked. Keep getting sidetracked. I can't pay attention for five seconds, can I? Now, obvi the obvious thing to do is um, to decoupage the page. I'm just pulling that apart. Now, I was thinking it would be nice to do one of these pockets. More. Now, maybe I'll keep that together. It would help when you're under time pressure to, to um, you know, be a little bit decisive. That's always a bonus when you've got a time limit, I think. I'm going to put that there. And then what I thought was maybe, oh, probably won't be so lucky. I just thought if I could find one um, that was the same type, and I can't, so we'll create one. Where's my book? Oh, dearie me. Oh, this is not a good start at all. Here we go, I found it. Couldn't find my book. Here it is. Okay, here we are. So what I need to do, this one had been glued on previously. I need to fold that one in half. don't know if it's going to be too bulky. We'll see. And I want to make one of these pockets where it's folded down. So I need to glue that. And I'm going to put it like that okay so what I thought I might do is decoupage behind and what I might do is in this case scenario I might use my um, glue stick and let me just find something that I feel like I want to use this is nice we go all beige Yes, why don't we go all beige? Well, that's really great. Really great tearing there. But it might be all right. I might make... Oh, yes, I may. I'm going to make it. It's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, um, I might just wing it a little bit. I, I won't stitch it together in the video because I need my glue to dry. So I'll just clip it together. Does, does that count? I hope so. Unless I didn't get any glue on, you know, beyond the napkin. Because I don't want I don't want to glue my thingy magic shut, do I? So here we go. We'll just glue that down there. I've no idea what I'm gonna do. Oh, come on. Now what I thought I might do with this is, isn't that pretty? Um, I thought I might do that glue and then, because it's decoupage and I thought I should be true to what um, the true decoupage is, it's a bit of thickness down there, is just go over the top a little bit. And so I will have to let that dry before 
I put them together but I'm not putting too much on so you never know it might dry before um, I have to glue it to, um, sew them together I do like it though because let's I want I wonder the reason one of the reasons why I never did this before is I didn't want it to become you know too plasticky you know that plasticky sort of feeling um, but I have watered it down quite a lot but I do like the transparency that it gets with doing it the proper way so let's put that aside well no look I'm going to keep this near because now I need to decide what to put there and what you will know, need to know is that I have a huge mess um, near me and I've been doing Christmas because um, I had a Christmas journal order and so I've got all this Christmas stuff oh, well I put it kind of put it away but it's all just sort of shoved on top of itself so on you know on it on it on everything and green's good I don't want brown oh I know this paper will be good this all oh, this is perfect okay so what I might do is put that up there and so what I'm going to do is grab my I did have my ruler in here because I did use it previously and now I can't find it oh there it is talk about the bumbling bumbling bodgy bodgy I'm the bodgy crafter Gail's the bumbling craft she calls herself the bumbling crafter I don't call her a bumbling crafter she calls herself that that's not coming from me Gail um right anyway but I should concentrate and oh and I'm just very distracted the other thing that's slowing me down is my total distraction and concern about the I know I said it before the fires in in um New South Wales in Australia um, it's just it's at it's very bad at the moment I don't know there's a big southerly um, windy gusty southerly change coming through as well in right probably oh, it's probably already gone through because it was coming through at 6 p.m. in Sydney um, Sydney time which was quite a while ago I think um, so I'm wondering how it's all going and um, I know that my sister-in-law's mum and and her sister's place are not, you know, they're in a dangerous spot. So they had packed up their car and they've gone to stay at a friend's place because not only, well, they're not, they've got, got, haven't got fires near their place, but they're not too far away. They're in not too far from Coffs Harbour. They're between actually Coffs Harbour and where the other big fire is up there. Um, so yeah, they're kind of in the middle, so it could easily come in that way. So they they were going to town to stay at their friend's place, and then I know that my my um, sister in law's other sister is in the Hunter Valley, and I don't know, don't know how. Where, I can't remember exactly their address there. I've been there, but I can't remember. So I'm hoping everybody's okay. I really am, and I know of course I've got lots of lovely um, subscribers too that are watching what's happening and ready to go mm. it's just a disaster just a disaster anyway um there's no fires near my mum she's south of sydney i'm um, just out of sydney in the south um her plan is to go to the supermarket <laughs> so it sounds like a good plan to me um if anything should happen she's heading to the supermarket because there are no trees around the supermarket how about that sounds like a plan um, sorry just grabbing these um, so that's what mum's going to do if anything happens but I think they're going to that there's not doesn't look like I've been watching there's a very good website that you can go to um, that tells you what's happening and um, the you know the um, well, the firefighters website and um, and so yeah I don't think there's anything down there near mum and of course the rest of my family are in in Sydney but they're not in, you know, they're not near, um, really near the national forests there in Sydney, so they should be okay, I expect. Um, yeah, so it's all a big concern, big concern. Uh, not, I mean, you know, people have lost their houses and um, well, some people have lost their life and, um, and of course, then the wildlife as well that's been burnt, the koalas... So it's just a disaster and it's probably not going to end soon. 
I'm wondering if that might be over. It's very good colours, that one, with that, but I think it might be, you know, too much. No, that one's not the right colour. Anyway, so we'll cross our fingers that something happens, unexpected happens, that's good, like rain or, or something. And you know that they that that I don't think they've even reported it over here. So you know they they reported the American ones, but um, they haven't reported about the Australian fires, which are very bad, very bad fires. I think I'm going to go with that. Okay, I really don't have time for for this messing about, do I? Well, I've nearly done one thing. Okay, so that's that. Okay, and then um, I'll put the butterfly on. That's a Tim Holtz butterfly. I think, um, who sent me this? I think Sammy might have sent me this. Did Sammy send me this? I can't remember. Anyway, there we go. Um, so that's going to be, oh, that's a lovely pocket. Um, so that's got to that's gotta dry. So that's one project. Then the next one, um, there was, so Susan Taylor Brown, I saw her video, um, she didn't show how she did it. I don't think, did she, Susan? I don't know. I'm having a sip of green tea. Do you think I've got time for green tea? I don't think so. So what um, Susan did, which I thought was really interesting, I don't know whether I should use this gluey piece, is that she um, did some fussy cutting pieces. And she just had these little fussy cut she had well what is amazing that Susan had was she had this she showed a big drawer of fussy cut napkins now that is serious fussy cutting I think um, so she had a big drawer of fussy cut and she said she'd made all these fussy cut embellishments um, napkin embellishment thingies now that's a very little bird now that I've cut him out um, and uh, didn't even make a dent in her big drawer that she was trying to de-stash a bit. So what I thought, um, I really liked that idea that Susan had. And she had just um, put little um, bits of, so I guess what do I do? I've never, you know, I've never done this before with the proper glue for it. So what I do is get that out of the way. It's already a bit sticky. Put that there. Listen to those dogs. They're going bananas. And oh, isn't that fun? Oh, it really is fun. I never did that before. So don't think making one of these counts. Isn't that cute? So that's a little birdie on a piece of paper. How about that? So let's do something else. So maybe a few of these will count as something, not just one. Because that was very fast. And then Susan said she was just using them as um, embellishments for things. Probably not the best idea to use this paper that's got glue all over it. Um, oh, it's very relaxing. I do love using a paintbrush. I do find painting, um, well, I don't ever paint, but when I did do painting, um, it was very, very relaxing thing to do. It does take on a nice look, the, the napkin when it's wet. So that's lovely. There you go. I could even fussy cut that out again. And then it's got, it's like a book page fussy cut flower. Okay, what else? Um, anything here? No, I don't know. Well, that flower would be lovely. What if I do that? Oh, look at that little, that little, um, little big palace, I should say. Let's cut that out and put that somewhere. That could be a nice um, piece to put on a journaling card or something. So I just need to plonk it on there. That's what I need to do. Just a second. I've got a crease. Because there is a little bit of glue on there, as I mentioned. So put that there. And then over you go with the, with the glue. It's fun. So 
I wonder how it what it will look like when it dries. Does it is it does it dry that transparent? I wonder. I haven't even looked at my time. I haven't looked. I mean, I guess nothing will happen to me if I if I flop. I'll just feel like a failure. That's what that's the problem. Is I'll feel like I failed. I don't think anybody will do anything to me. I don't think Tina's going to come over and bop me on the head if I don't make it. There we go. So I'll let that dry and we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll do. Well, let's do another one because this is fun, and I'll probably regret that decision, won't I? Oh, here's a butterfly. What about this pretty butterfly? I know it's pale. Oh, it's torn. Okay. Um, well, what have we got here? Oh, I'm going to cut out that butterfly. So as you can see, you can just do a whole lot of these. And then, um, hopefully I'm on screen because I'll have to do it all again if I'm not. Get into trouble for being off screen. pouring outside I might say I want to, I would just love it if I could send some of that over to you know where okay and I'm gonna this is all a bit stickier here I think I should get a new piece it's not clever putting it on already sticky paper unless I'm going to cut it out that that could always be an option I've got a lot of glue here I'll have to continue on and do more afterwards oh what fun who knew who knew Oh, I like the look of that. Wouldn't that just be nice? Just put on the page in, in a journal. That would be really nice. Okay, well, maybe we'll stop with that, that idea now. We'll just put that one aside because I'll come back and do some more of those afterwards. And we'll just put that over there. I might need that again. And let's see what else we're going to do. And then the next thing, I wrote down a few ideas, but I hadn't decided. Um, oh, I thought maybe I could um, do... An envelope so why don't we do an envelope this is quite a nice size book so let's just glue two pages together and we've done envelopes before but I mean there's a certain amount of things that you can really do isn't there there's not an endless thing of thing of things to do um, now, what type of envelope do I want to do? Well, no, I don't want to do that type. It's not glued down properly. I have to do one of these types. So I need to fold that up. Fold it up here. And those are, they're nearly dry, those. There. And that down there. And what I will do is just... get this and I'm going to trim the top bit together so they're the same like so and I think that's all I'll do then now let me see my crease there okay and then I need I might just to strengthen it I might fold that down I I'll, I'll, will be stitching across there that strengthens it there so it's stronger and it's not as deep. It's easier to get things in and out. Maybe a little bit higher up. Okay, so that's what my envelope is going to look like. And now I need to decoupage it. And I think I'm going to decoupage it with the fussy cutting method. Hopefully I've got time. And so I need to just see what other... Oh, look at this. This is great for fussy cutting, this one. I think. Mm, maybe not. I don't know which of those I'd like to use. Um, let's just pull all of the, in the, not the envelopes, the things out. Let's see what would we like. Some butterflies to cut out there. Um, Decisions are the worst. I don't. I think I don't want anything that's too big. It's 
got bunny on it, that one. There's some birds. Oh, these are good. Good flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to trim around this. Very quickly, I'm going very quickly. Let me see how my, my time is going. Oh, 10 minutes to go. Okay, I can, I can, I've got time. I can get one done in 10 minutes, I think. See, I don't have as much time as you think. Hopefully I'm on screen. Am I re I'm kind of on screen. Okay, well, I need to move up here. I'll have to redo the whole thing again if I'm not on screen. Okay. So that's going to go there. Let's just let's just put it on. And I'm starting in the center. I don't know why. I think just cuz I think it's better to start in the center and work your way out. Should come up here. I'm going to trim off those bits that are overhanging. Oh, I like that. I do like the effect of this, I must say. I must say. And then I want to cut. I think I want that bud. And I also wanted this flower here. I know I'm not on screen right now. You just have to bear with me a second. Okay, here I come. I don't want to drop all my bits on, on my glued part. I don't think you need to worry too much. Um, we'll see how it dries, but I don't think you need to worry too much about the white. It kind of goes transparent when you put the wet glue on. Put that one there. Maybe I'll put it that way, coming in. No, it looks upside down, doesn't it? I'll just put it there and work it out afterwards. And I might not put anything on the other side because it might be the type of thing that I would like to put sideways on a page and um, just put, you know, um, attach down two extremities and then it becomes like a tuck as well. I'll cut those off afterwards. Okay, so that's up there. But now I need, I might need this. I might keep the butterfly. It's not easy to put together a composition under the pressure of time, I must say. I could put that one. Yeah, I like that. I love the way the um, white goes transparent like that. Okay, and then I could, yes. Even though I chopped off a bit of that butterfly, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this weekend I'm going to be out of action because my brother is in London now for work 
and he's popping down for the weekend, which is very exciting. It's his birthday and Lulu's birthday on Friday, and they he's arriving on Friday, and they are going to celebrate together. So that's exciting. They have the same day. No, that doesn't work. But there. There. No. Why did I think it worked before? What did I see before that I don't see now? There. I put it there. Oh, my goodness. You can, can you tell I'm rushing now? Because I know my time is going, it's going down. I'll just fold that over there. There we go. That's nice. And then what? We need something else, but I'm not going to use that one. And I don't think I'm going to use those. Um, got bits of things sticking to me everywhere. My big woolly jumper because it's cold. Well, I might put a bit of these these um, blue flowers. I'd have a bit of a garden going. I could have those. I kind of like that. Yep, that's where I'm going to put that. very quick to get my glue on there because um, I don't want to change my mind. There's no time for mind changing your mind. So that's going to go there. Oh, I do like this. This is great. And I'm going to maybe put a big butterfly there. Oops. Let me see how my time's going. Oh, four minutes. Okay, well, that's okay. We're making it. It's okay. We can do it. I don't have to rush quite as much Why as I thought. Because I'm, I'm doing three items in 30-minute challenge. Oh. And it's an alphabet challenge. Oh. What does alphabet challenge mean? Well, it, like, um, you have to do... Each time you do it, you do it a thing of the alphabet. So I'm up to nut D... And I'm doing D for decoupage. Oh. I think I like the butterfly down here. I do. Oh, this is so much fun. Um, and rather than just randomly... And I saw Artie Mays do this sort of thing. But, she, of course, she's amazing at it because she's Artie Mays. Um, Andrea. Um, but it's really fun recomposing the, the, the scene, putting it all together. Now, what I need... I think is just to finish it off and then it needs to be stitched but I have to let it dry does that count if I don't stitch it now um, I can stitch it there is time but I want to let it I really did want to let it dry that's what I wanted I would really like a label and I might have to cover up that little mini butterfly there because that might be the label I'm going to use unless I've come across something else that doesn't cover up cover up the butterfly that I like no I like the other one uh, yeah, I think it's going to be that one. That's what I'm going to stick on there. I'm going to make more of these. I am. I am going to make more. Now, we're going to go back. I've got a big mess in front of my sewing machine, so that'll be interesting. Um, but we're going to go back. Now, that is that. Now, let's. this is very wet. You see, it's all stuck together now. So what I need to do is let that dry, and then I'll stitch that. Mommy. Yes, Lily. The, the size of the writing in my thing and now it's like a page and a half oh you need to add to it yeah but still it's like more than one page yes <laughs> yeah well I'm not going to do it today mommy I've been working for quite a bit and oh you'll regret and that I, decision tomorrow this is still sticky and I don't for first day anyway okay um, so I'm not going to stitch anything because it's all wet and it'll all stick together so that's the only downside of doing de decoupage as your letter, because it's wet. So this is a pocket. Um, this is going to be the envelope, and I absolutely love the envelope. I'm going to make some more of those when I get off screen. And then these are elements that you can fussy cut out or just stick down on tags and things um, to deco you know, like to decorate. So, like, that could be fussy cut around, or it could be stitched onto, like, a cluster or something like that. 
So there you go guys and I am up to one minute left so that's good. Got that done and um, I'm going to love you and leave you and I might go and make another one of these because I like them. They are really nice. They really are. If I do say so to myself. Oh, if I had time, what I could have done was put something up there when you opened it. Oh, yes. Let's see if I can get that in in my last minute. Does changing, just wanting to add something at the last minute count? Let's see if I can get it on there. I'm going to open this out and glue away. You'll hear it. It'll go ding, 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 ding. It's only very quiet, though. It's on quiet mode. It's not very loud. Nearly there. It should go any minute. The timer. I nearly didn't get a video done today. There it is. There's the timer. There you go. I've done it. Does that count? Can you hear that? Ooh, a bit more. Let's make sure it's on properly. Oh, I love it. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I'll let that dry and then that's my envelope. Woohoo! So thank you for watching, guys. I'll be back with the next one. Bye. Bye. Here's Lulu. Hi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.